When I'm hearing you sing it, I feel like this is my story. I'm just a super ordinary girl from Orange County. I think about my life, how much I wanted to feel what real love felt like. Oh, no, I'm not ready. Oh, my God, I'm crying. That was... I am so in awe of you. I'm so honored to work with you. Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. I will now reveal the name of the first artist saved by your votes and advancing to next week's finale. Your first finalist is Katie Kaden, Team John Legend. Congratulations. Your second finalist is Jake Hoot, Team Kelly. Six artists remain. Who will be next? Your third finalist is... Ricky Duran, Team Blake. Three of your four finalists. One of these three artists was instantly saved and will advance to the finale. The other two will be going home. America instantly saved. short here in the finale we're finally down to the boys top four and we're heading into the finale on this week's episode we're going to ask the big question on everyone's mind who is going to be the winner of season 17's the voice now we have our prediction but we also have our top four rankings so stay tuned Hi, I'm Mel. I'm Raganka. And welcome to the Talent Recap Show. All right, you guys, this week we're recapping The Voice and we are talking about how we went down from our top eight to top four. Now, Raganka, I'm going to tell everybody who's in the top four right now. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Ricky Duran, Katie Caden, Rose Short, and Jake Hoop. Now, we lost some people. We lost Mary Beth, mm -hmm. Will, Hello Sunday, and Kat Hammond. Now, Maganka, mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm not surprised at the top four right now. We predicted it. We called it last week, and we were right. We were right, you guys. A lot of us have. A lot of you guys have mm -hmm. been coming for us in the comments, talking about why isn't Cat, why isn't Will? Why isn't Will? Okay, well, guess what? We were right. So we points were made, you guys. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Before we we have another list that we are mm -hmm. actually coming up with. So mm -hmm. we are going to rank our top four. Finalists, so we are going to rank them and then announce who our winner prediction is. Morganka has a list, and I have a list. Once again, we have not seen each other's lists yet. Mm -hmm. So you want to go first? I want to go first. What are we doing? I went first last time. So how about you go first? Okay, so I'll go first. Ranking in the number four spot, I have Rose Short. In number three, I have Ricky Duran. In number two, I have Katie Caden. And number one for the winner, my winner prediction, I have Jake Hoot. Cool. Cool. The, we probably have the same list, you guys. Yes, we do. We do. And I mean, maybe we have the same brain. Talent like, recap vibes. Yep, we know. And uh, before you guys come for us, allow me to explain why I think Jake Hoot will be the winner. Yes. So it's been four weeks that he has been the most streamed artist on Apple Music. Which plays a lot into the voting, you guys. And every week that you're the most streamed artist, you get your votes into Five. So now, look at it as a building, first week, second week, third week, fourth week. So now he has, he's already at a pedestal, and like any, anybody else, any other artist is like trying to catch up to him. It's so, hard. I it's mean, impossible, actually. Yeah, like how? <laughs> so his votes are just accumulating with uh -huh. all the streams that he's getting. And then also, we have to just like shout out, he is the only country artist. Yes. Now, I feel like in past seasons we had multiple country artists, so the votes mm -hmm. could be split. Now, we know how the country artists go in this competition. Uh -huh. We know that Kelly is a very strong coach. So, I mean, Jake is looking like this season's winner. Let us know in the comments mm -hmm. below if you agree with our winner prediction, and if you don't, let us know in the comments below who you think is the winner. And your rankings, too, if you agree with us. Also, Jake Hood is giving me Jordan Smith vibes, like, mm, you know, Jordan his Smith voice, winner. like, yeah. Nice. So I, I have a feeling like that's where it's going to go. But you know what, you guys? I think uh -huh. it's time for us to get into our top three. 
performances of the week. And in the number three spot, we have Ricky Duran with Let It Be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be. Okay, you cannot mess this song up. Like, yeah, even you if can. you're a normal singer, this song is so iconic. And everybody, like, when you hear it, you have memories with it. Mm -hmm. And when he sang, he was great. He but, was like, great. was I in love with the, him while he was singing? I, I, I wasn't there. Listen, I'm going to be honest, because I did kind of slander Ricky last week and said that he wasn't being different. I feel like he, he tried to play it a little different this week, though, so I'm going to give him his cred for that. And I feel like in song choice, it's not a difficult song for him, mm -hmm. obviously, but it is a popular song. So the direction they were going was clearly, let's get a song that everybody loves. So I see where they were going. It was a it was a solid performance, though. I know, uh, but I wish he would have shown a little more of like what all can he do? Yeah, I exactly. Know. Like that one high sustained pitch, and I would be like, yes. Yeah, I know. And we've been rooting for Ricky. Mm -hmm. He was our projected winner. So it's kind of disappointing, but hey, he made it to the finale. So you never know what can uh -huh. happen. But you know what? Let's get into our number two performance with Katie Caden singing Lady Marmalade. You wanna give it a go? This, this song is made for her. It Nobody is. else, nobody else on the list could have pulled this off. And yeah. given how theatrical she is and her Broadway-esque nature, mm -hmm. it was perfect. Now, like I say, like I said last week, I love Katie Caden. This is a typical song for her. This was a typical performance for her. And my surprise, not at all. Was it amazing? Yes, it was. Was I surprised? Not at all. And I really feel like that's my thing with Katie right now in the competition. Is she going to pull something in the finale? Is she waiting for that last minute to just do something out of the box? I don't know. I don't think so at this point. But I, that's what I really want to see from her. I love her. I just want to see something different, Katie. <sighs> it was the perfect song for her, but I'm over. I'm I over. It was the perfect song for her. Period. Moving on. Moving on. Anyways, we're going to get into our number one performance of the week. And it comes from Rose Shore, who sings, I want to know what love is. There's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. It feels like love has finally found me in my life. Yeah. Listen, I think Rose, like, really, like, she did her thing with this performance. I love, I adore this song. This is probably one of those songs that makes a list of, like, one of those repetitive songs to sing. But her rendition of it was amazing. The way so that she captured the room. I, I love Rose. I love I'm her. so honored. I think Lord the, the whole Lord room Lord. agrees with you. Yeah. And it was amazing. And I was actually really sad when I saw that judges had to save her because... Rose has always had my heart, mm -hmm. has my heart, and I love her, and I've rooted her, rooted for her forever. Mm -hmm. And the fact that judges had to save her, and that people did not vote for her, given how amazing—I mean, did not vote as much for her, given how amazing yeah. she was last week. I really want to make up for that. I want to, I want to like bomb that sting, you know, that yeah. wound that's there, and be like, "We love you, Rose, and you're there, and we see you, and we hear you, and we're here." Cheering you on. I do feel like with Rose that she definitely had the number four spot in general. So it's kind of like she's at least getting herself into yeah. finale like she deserves. We can't wait to see what she brings to the table next week. And um, yeah, those are our top three of the week. Yep. All right, you guys. So now it's time for our comment of the week. And every week we choose one of your comments from a previous video and shout you out, love and or hate, because we love you guys. And we read all of your comments. 
So this comment comes from Lynn Coles, who says, we have had a duo that won the finals. I gave up on this season when Kalia, Kalia, ooh, I forgot, was let go by John. One, Lynn, you are correct. I was wrong. I've con honestly made this mistake like twice on the show so far, but listen, I bad memory, you guys. It happens. There's a lot of contestants I got to remember. <laughs> But um, you know what? what is interesting? I feel like there were a lot of gems this season that did not make it to not even the top eight this season. How do you feel about that? I think that's so true. Because, you know, when we were talking about the top eight, I, I kind of, like, sat down and I was thinking of my favorites, and mm -hmm. they weren't even, like, on the show anymore, and they got eliminated really early on. Kalia mm -hmm. is, like, one example yeah, of that. Yeah, definitely. Right? And the fact that, like, strong singers were not given a preference this season and instead mm -hmm. it was more about like the way the way like the way they sang not like the, their voice quality not what they brought to the table not their stage presence and I don't know I'm just I, I'm not feeling it I feel like this was a very different season as yeah. of the voice viewer if you've watched previous seasons before it just was kind of a weird top top everything yeah um I I, it was kind of weird. I'm gonna lie. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like there were people like Mendeleev, for example, who was mm -hmm. way back. Mm -hmm. I felt like that was somebody that could have projected to get into the live shows, didn't. Uh -huh. um, I just like I was kind of disappointed to not see my faves go through. But let us know in the comments, you guys. Who do you wish you could bring back from the Voice Dead and have them perform or make it to the finale? I know there's a lot of people that love Joanna. Yeah. That love or her. Will. Will was Which a you very guys, strong, strong contender. You guys pressed us for never having him in, but he didn't make it to the finale, you guys. So hey. But anyways, you know, let us know in the comments, uh -huh. you guys, what you think or who you believe should have made it to the finale. Speaking of winners and country winners, I want to leave you guys with a little trivia question. Hmm. Who is the biggest country singer to come out of The Voice? You know what? I feel like that's a really great mm -hmm. question. Because actually in a previous video, we had the discussion about the success level of the voice artists and how most of them are not household names. Now, a lot of you in the comments brought up Cassidy Pope, Jordan Smith, but I'm like, listen, yes, they have a certain level of success, but I'm talking about Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson is a judge on the show now, you guys, starting from American Idol. Jennifer Hudson, their careers have blossomed so much and it's just like, it's a certain level of success, you guys. But you know what? Answer the trivia question that Morganka asked. I would like to know too. Let me know. I want to hear you guys' inputs. Also, Carrie Underwood. You don't. Yes. You can be country and still be mainstream. It's not that if you're country, you're not mm. amazing. We have amazing country singers that are household names. Is there any you can think of from The Voice? Without using Google, without trying to like uh, go back to videos, our videos, no. Mm -hmm. If you can think of something, let us know in the comments below. Yes. All right, Maganka. So let us know what's going on on talentrecap.com. Is there any The Voice news that we should know about? Actually, there is. So uh, last week, Megan Trainer performed. She was amazing and we love her. But people came for her on Twitter because of what she was wearing. And then there was like this tug of war which led to some amazingly hilarious tweets that you have to check out. We'll put it right here, and you have, you have to check them out. Yeah, I was wondering where her pants were, but anyways, you guys, make sure we let everybody know where they can follow you on social. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Raganka Chabla on Instagram. Come say hi. And then you can follow me at double underscore M-E-L-B-A-E, -E, but make sure you're following Talent Recap on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. You should be subscribed right now, and let's get it on cue. Okay. And, and that's, that's our Talent, Talent Recap. Recap. Hey. Hey, you over there, I see you watching. You still haven't subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button below right now. You know you have to.